Are you trying to grind missions in GTA Online only to find out that there's a freaking cooldown timer on them? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can completely bypass the cooldown timer on pretty much any mission. Now, of course, this is going to be very helpful for the new DAX missions that came with the Drug Wars updates. These, for whatever reason, have a 50 minute cooldown. You play one, you have to wait 48 minutes, I think it is, before you play the next. They don't play out that great. I don't know why Rockstar has these cooldown timers, but they do have them. I think they're also on the payphone work for Franklin. And there's a couple of other contacts that have these mission cooldowns in free mode. And one of the challenges actually Rockstar posted, if you wanted to get some exclusive clothing, you had to do 25 of these DAX missions. The problem is, it's like by themselves, 25 is not a lot. But when you have to wait 48 minutes in between each one, that's just so much time you have to spend playing the game to get the exclusive work or the exclusive uh, clothing. Now, with what I'm gonna show you guys, it changes everything because we can just say, screw your mission cooldown timer. I'm gonna do as many missions as I want. So the way this works, obviously go ahead and start whatever mission. Again, I'm gonna show you guys with Dax missions. This will work with Franklin's missions, but start your mission and then make sure that you might wanna do this before, but just make sure your spawn location is actually set to the LS car meet. That is pretty vital for this to work. But once you have your spawn location to the LS card meet, then go through the mission. I got the same mission I swear I get every time when I do Dax's missions, the stupid go postal one, where I had to, you know, go pretend to be a postal outfit worker. And then you blow up all these people. Wonderful. Done this so many times. Complete the mission. Once you complete the mission and you recall him to like ask for a new one, you can see mission cooldown or next request available in 47 minutes. I ain't waiting that long. So what we're going to do, we're going to go inside of the LS car meet. Then you can do this, I think, with your own personal vehicle, or you can just go where I went to the, the test drive vehicles. And we are going to test drive one of these cars. So you go. I just hit enter alone. I don't think that matters, but just go with enter alone. When you're inside of the test drive, this is where we're actually going to call the character again. So we're going to call Dax. Now, if you're doing this with like Franklin payphone missions, you'd be calling him. We're calling Dax and you'll notice there's still a, the timer. So go back to the little entrance and you'll notice something strange happens. The second it takes you to this next screen at the top left, it does say enter LS car meet, but right underneath that, it says request work from Dax. That's how you know this is going to work. After you see this, just double tap the A or the X button to confirm. And you'll actually hear Dax like confirm it through the audio. And now we just wait. Uh, it might take a couple of seconds to get out of this little black screen, but it will put you back into the car meet and then it will actually kick you out of the car meet to start the new or the next mission. Thus, we just bypass that 40 minute timer. Now, the one good thing and the reason we have our spawn set to the LS car meet, if you get a mission where you just don't want to do it, I got the freaking go postal one again because it's the only one Rockstar gives me. I'm losing my mind playing this damn this mission. Simply find a new session. It will put you back into the car meet and just repeat the process we just did. Go to the test drive, test drive a car, enter it alone, call up Dax and go back to the loading screen. And when you see that, just double tap the X or the A button or the enter button if you're on PC to confirm it. And now we have a new mission. This one, we just had to go kill uh, someone, I think at some point and recover the stolen goods. And this is how you can very easily get rid of any of those mission cooldown timers. It does kind of suck. You have to go to the LS car meet, but it's either do that or wait. And I would much rather do this than wait 48 minutes just to play another mission. So hopefully this helps out a bunch of you guys in the game, whether it is Dax missions, whether it is Franklin payphone hits or any other missions that have the cooldown timer. This is a pretty easy way to get around it. Hopefully Rockstar don't patch this anytime soon. But that's going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Uh, subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.